young kids welcome again on two stories and tales channel my name is miss mimi and i am here to tell you a story If you're happy and you know we clap your hands If you're happy and you know we clap your hands If you're happy and you know and you really want to show that you're happy and you know we clap your hands If you're happy and you know we do a dance If you're happy and you know we do a dance If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show that you're happy and you know we do a dance If you're happy and you know we say hooray if you're happy and you know we say hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, and you really wanna show that you're happy and you know we say hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Hooray! If you're happy and you know we do all three. Hooray! If you're happy and you know, and you really wanna show that you're happy and you know we do all three. Hooray! Hooray! Hello, everybody. Today's story is by an author who makes stories like this. The author of The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Do you know that story? I think I should read that story someday on this channel. I love it. The title of the story is The Very Quiet Cricket. The Very Quiet Cricket by Eric Carl. Join me on this adventure as we listen to the story together. One warm day. From a tiny egg, a little cricket was born. Welcome! Chirped a big cricket, rubbing his wings together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. Hmm. With a locust spinning through the air, the little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. Hello, whispered a praying mantis, scraping its huge front legs together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. I wonder why there's no sound. Good day, crunched a worm, munching its way out of an apple. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. You can guess, nothing happened, not a sound. bubbled a spittle bug, slurping in a sea of froth. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. Guess what? Nothing happened. Not a sound. Good afternoon, screeched a kikada, clinging to a branch of a tree. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. What do you think happened? You're right, nothing, not a sound. I wonder why not though. Hmm, how are you? Hummed a bumblebee, flying from flower to flower. The little cricket wanted to enter. He rubbed his wings together. Nothing happened, not a sound. Oh, I'm sad for little cricket. Good evening, weird a dragonfly, gliding above the water. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. And yes, nothing happened. Not a sound.
Good night, buzzed the mosquitoes, dancing among the stars. The little cricket wanted to answer. He rubbed his wings together. Nothing happened, not a sound. A lunar moth sailed quietly through the night and the cricket enjoyed the stillness. As the lunar moth disappeared silently into the distance, the cricket saw another cricket. She too was a very quiet cricket. Then he rubbed his wings together one more time. And this time, do you hear that? He chirped the most beautiful sound that she had ever heard. Be and It was a lovely story, eh? <laughs> Can we talk about the lessons that we learned from this story? Sometimes you have to try more than once to get the thing that you want the most. Imagine if the quiet cricket had stopped trying to say something. Then we wouldn't have gotten to the point where he finally made a sound. And it was a beautiful sound. That's one lesson I learned from it. Always keep trying, try so hard, keep trying, don't give up to get the answer that you need. Thank you for watching. My name is Miss Mimi. Do like, share, subscribe. I'll see you here some other time. Bye.